Orleans Parish Sheriff Susan Hudson sits down with Fox 8 to talk about why she thinks a proposed property tax hike is cri critical to getting the parish jail out of a federal consent decree. And as Sabrina Wilson reports, Hudson says she's been upfront about the need for more money, even though some city council members question whether she's been transparent enough. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. With Fox 8 cameras in tow, Sheriff Susan Hudson walked through the Orleans Parish Jail. Before that, we sat down with her to talk about the property tax increase she wants New Orleans voters to approve on April 29th. Because I don't think people understand the conditions under which our deputies are working. We can have up to 60 people on a pod, and sometimes you'll have deputies trying to cover two pods and to watch the cameras as well. Uh, one deputy trying to look at over 120 people and to monitor a camera. That is impossible. That's an impossible job. Hudson says the jail is at 55 percent of the needed staffing. We know that we need more deputies to do that critical work to comply with this consent judgment. If we do not get those deputies, if we don't have a competitive p pay plan, we will never comply with the consent judgment. We will not run a constitutional jail and we will not be able to secure these courts like we need to. How many deputies does the um, jail have as we speak today? We have about 300, 350 deputies, but we still need another 300 or so. So we, um, we, need, we really need to almost double our ranks. The sheriff's office received $55.7 million from city government for this year, but Hudson says additional funding is needed to comply with the consent decree. So she's proposing a 5.5 millage that's basically double the millage already dedicated to the sheriff's office. If the millage passes, the sheriff's office would get an additional $12 million a year. And Hudson says at least $5 million of that would be used to boost pay to help hire and retain employees. 1.8 million would go to training, 1.5 million for a new financial system, at least a million to improve health benefits for workers. She also wants to replace the antiquated IT system. She says the jail facility also needs to be made safer. We are looking at at least 11 million dollars in capital improvements to the building itself. So we'll space those out over time. Over the life of the millage, will plan and fix those things that are the priority first. So making the cell suicide proof. And some of the money would be used to establish a jail rainy day fund. Yeah, we're trying to make sure we put at least 7.5 million together. And so that's about $750,000 annually till we build that up. So we'll do it over the life of the millage as well. Last week, city council members questioned Hudson about the proposed tax hike, some suggesting that she hasn't been transparent enough about how the funds will be used. But to people in the public who may say, I don't know enough about that. Do you think you've been transparent enough? Yeah, we, we're always going to listen to our community. If they want to hear more, we're, we're more than happy to give them more. But I just want to remind them, I've talked about this since day one. And she's very confident that if the millage passes, the jail will get out of the federal consent decree. No, I'm guaranteeing we're going to get out of this consent decree. You know, this is my third Can one. Can you guarantee that oh, if, yeah. if you get an additional, what, 12 million dollars that this facility will get out of the federal consent decree? Yeah, I, I, I think I can. Um, wow. And the reason being, number one, that now we can upgrade all the things that you need to comply with the consent decree. Number one, stabilizing staffing. That is the key. Sheriff Hudson says the current jail is less than 10 years old, but has safety issues that need to be corrected, included cabinets in inmate pods that can be broken off and made into weapons. I asked her what her plan B is if the millage fails and she says the sheriff's office will continue, continue to do what she calls the almost impossible but she added that the facility will not be safe and secure until it has adequate staffing.